Hi, this is Indrani and I had scored a 99.4% in my 10th boards without any coaching or any kind of tuitions and in this video I'll be talking about how I managed to score 100 and 100 in science with 100 in physics, 100 in biology and 99 in chemistry. And I'll be sharing my 5 step strategy to tackle these subjects. Now, a lot of science pre boards and school exams are not good enough. So, please don't get disheartened by those marks. Treat each of these exams as a learning step to better yourself. So, step number 1. Attend your class or watch a lecture on YouTube. Aajkal har ek topic ka lecture easily available hai online. Just in case tumhe school mein parhaya wa utna achhe se samajh mein nahi aata. For physics, pay close attention to definitions, derivations, graphs and concept based numericals. For chemistry, note important equations and concept pe focus karo. You will be able to answer all questions if your concepts are clear. For biology, note important diagrams and answer extremely to the point. This is applicable for all three science subjects. Answer absolutely to the point with short crisp answers using keywords from the text. Now step number two, read on your own from a standard book. I've already talked about the books that I had followed during my ICC preparation in a previous video. But they mostly include concise physics, chemistry and biology. Now step number three. Go through the previous year questions of that particular chapter. In this way, you will know which topics are frequently repeated or asked and also what kind of questions are asked. Now, step number four, practice questions. Now, first practice previous year questions and then now because competency based questions are being asked and also MCQs are being asked, you need to practice them too. Now, iskele, I would like to recommend Oswal books. Now, Salo say many toppers have used these books because they have trusted content. These are topic-wise questions including MCQs, objective questions, subjective questions and competency-focused questions. For a quick revision, they have revision notes with mnemonics and mind maps. Ideal toppers answers are included and at the end of each chapter, self-assessment be here. I have provided the link in description for these books so that even you can buy them. I think it's a great source honestly for a good amount of practice. Science is not something that you will understand in one day. The more you practice, the easier it will get. Now, going by old traditions, if you have watched the video till here, comment loyal gang and I'll reply. Now, number five, revision. Often ignored and sometimes frustrating because ho sakta hai ki while you're revising, tumko sab kuch naya lag raha hai. Now, everyone, including toppers, go through this phase. If I'm being honest, you'll need to revise at least three to four times before you start feeling confident. So, these were the steps that I followed when studying any chapter. Now, mere liye, I didn't really have to refer to many online videos because many school teachers luckily enough achcha parate the. Also, I do not like reading from many sources. So even then, I stuck to uh, standard books, previous year questions and sample papers given by Oswal. And now because competency-based questions and MCQs are being included in the syllabus, Oswal has tried to include them as well. So now one source is enough for your board preparation. And as I've said before, coachings aren't really required for 10th boards because you're just wasting your time of self-study. Now, if you have any doubts, enter in the comment section and finally, all the best.